بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون دس لیکچر ان آر گلوبل مارکیٹنگ کورس از از ناؤ مور فوکسڈ ٹوورڈس دا دا مارکیٹ انوائرمنٹ اینڈ فیچرز دیٹ آر دیئر اینڈ دا مارکیٹنگ ایلیمنٹس دیٹ یو نارملی ووڈ فیس دیٹ ووڈ بی دیئر ان دی اکانمی دیٹ دا کنٹری دیٹ از یور کنٹری آف ڈیسٹینیشن دین what would be the basic market environment and features that you would find there okay uh, again this is taken from uh, Johnny K. Johansson's book uh, the 2008 edition um, and uh, it's a very 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 good work um, in that in that book um, obviously we have uh, there are four uh, columns that you would see the market environment features um, Again, the fifth wasn't there because 2008 had just happened and all of this was different before that. And um, even after 2008, uh, now we are uh, back into that situation, the second, leg, uh, second leg down of the greatest depression, uh, the global depression that is now here. Uh, that was there, it's now just uh, accelerating or has been, is being accelerated, whatever, whatever your opinion is. Okay. Um, now, in this, if you look at, we have features um, in the column. Uh, in the rows, we have features, and in the columns, we have the market situation. Uh, the features that we look at is product life cycle stage, uh, tariff barriers, non-tariff barriers. Uh, if you look at it, these are different features that are listed. In the, mar- uh, in the market environment, we have, again, emerging, new growth, mature, and declining. Okay. Um, In emerging mark, uh, if you see the features and you can see the emerging, I'll just uh, I'll just give just give an overview here. In life cycle stage, if you look at emerging markets, it will be introduction. In new growth, it will be growth. In maturity, in mature markets, it will be mature. And in declining, obviously, it would be decline as demand would be dropping. Okay. Uh, in tariff barriers, uh, uh, if you see tariff barriers in emerging markets, they will be high because the market need is is being protected by the government. Uh, uh, in new growth it will be medium in mature market it will be low and in declining market again the tariff barriers would be high okay because the local local industry and local uh, uh, market may want the government may want to protect them so that at least the decline can be uh, the decline can uh, be resisted or the decline can be slowed down okay by encouraging local industry non tariff barriers non tariff barriers are high in emerging they are high in new growth in mature they would be medium because of competition issues and in declining again um, well i've listed high here and obviously this last column is based on uh, is just based is based on my opinion okay it could be different i mean I'm, i'm not saying that this might be the only case this might be the only optimal thing there could be other uh, arguments uh, otherwise as well so basic argument can be for non tariff barriers might be high if the government is secure and uh, th- there is some order in even in the declining situation but if the order is lost the non tariff barriers um, might be might be uh, might become low as well because uh, if there is no enforcement there are no customs there are no custom departments there are no uh, uh, low enforcement or maybe corruption coming in then the non tariff barriers might might become low as well okay for a certain time period but uh, if if corruption increases then obviously non tariff barrier becomes will become high uh, as the market goes into more of or bigger declines okay okay next in this is we have domestic competition in emerging markets or emerging market situation the domestic competition would be weak in new growth it will be getting stronger in mature it will be stronger and uh, in declining it would become low or would become weak again this is this is an opinion based it could become uh, it could be low it could be weak and it might even become higher because uh, uh, there might be more resistance put up by the domestic competition okay um, it uh, i mean even a declining situation uh, might inspire people for uh, higher uh, entrepreneurship and their own business uh, so it might become even higher so but uh, generally if you look at it in a declining situation um, it the domestic competition because companies are closing down and people are getting out of a job people are the demand is collapsing so domestic competition would become lower it will become weaker 
okay um, i can uh, if i can write here uh, this might help it can become weak as well okay in foreign uh, foreign competitors might be weak in new growth they might be get stronger in mature they might get stronger and in declining uh, situation probably most of the foreign competitors because if the market profitability is dropping then they might be uh, foreign com competitors or foreign competition might become weak again in financial institutions uh, in emerging markets are weak okay in new growth markets they are protected uh, in mature markets the financial institutions are strong and in declining situation the financial institution will start to get weak as well and if you look at consumer markets in emerging situations the consumer markets might be embryonic that they are just uh, developing in new growth they will be strong in mature they will be saturated uh, consumer markets and in declining the consumer market might be disintegrating like um, if you have demand collapses and and because of that there are no jobs that are there so because of this uh, you might have a situation where uh, the the markets might get be starting to get weaker okay so uh, in declining situations the consumer markets are declining uh, or disintegrating okay next uh, uh, next if you look at uh, newer features in the next slide we have industrial markets okay we have industrial markets Industrial markets are in emerging markets. They are getting stronger. In new growth, they are strong. In mature markets, they are strong. And in declining, they'll obviously be getting weak uh, because of the issue of demand collapses. Political risk in emerging markets would be high. In uh, new growth, it is medium. In mature, it is low. And in declining market, it might become higher as well, depending on well. This can change from country to country, but this is going to become okay. So. in industrial markets uh, in declining might be getting weaker and political risk uh, new growth we have uh, medium risk in mature market we have low political risk because political systems are stable the economy is going good then political systems are stable and in declining the political risk might become high again it depends on the situation that uh, whether you have a stable government and what what the social structure of the society if that remains intact uh then political risk might be low but if the the societal structure starts to get disbalanced then the political risk might become higher as higher as well uh in terms of distribution in emerging market it is weak in new growth market it is complex in mature it is streamlined uh that uh, and in declining it will start to become complex as well the idea of being complexity is that in new growth markets because you do not have these uh, big distributors or the big uh, uh what you can say transporters that are providing you probably nationwide coverage uh, you might have smaller distributors covering smaller regions and and because of that then uh, the situation might become complex okay for example if you look at pakistan let's say if you want to uh, uh if you uh, Uh, the the supply chains will be weaker okay if you if you look at for example if you want to get a medicine uh to a remote area somewhere in the mountains up in the mountains uh maybe in gilgit baltistan somewhere okay or uh, so um uh, and let's say if it is a medicine it's a life saving drug that you want to get it there okay uh then how would you distribute it there how would it get there what would be the supply chain for it okay it will be difficult for you to have one service provider you might have two to three service providers that you might have to contract with in order to complete the distribution network okay uh and obviously um in new growth what happens in new growth the systems are developing um and the uh, you have smaller suppliers and small uh, and distributors that uh, that have regional uh, or uh, local coverage okay and you you have to gel them all together you have to come up with all the contracts to get your product to the desired location to the desired customers okay in mature obviously uh, you have now bigger players coming in smaller distributors are out of the market you have now bigger players that are in bigger supply chain service providers okay the agilities uh, the fedexes uh, or and maybe uh, you will have nationwide coverage your country wide coverage or multiple coverage that is being provided by one or couple of companies 
okay so that would be then streamlined okay that you can give an order from anywhere in the world to that particular com company and it will get it delivered you wouldn't have to get into uh, setting up a distribution network like that okay and a in a declining situation it will then start to get complex again as as distribution networks become uh, companies become weaker so local distributors will come up again in order to uh, fulfill the needs um, uh, to fill the gap of uh, of uh, providing uh, products okay in in those areas last one here is media advertising if you look at media advertising in emerging markets because it's, it's coming if it's coming out of a systemic change then media advertising would be weak because it will be more con more controlled in uh, in new growth uh, the media advertising will become strong because new because there will be many many companies coming in and everybody would be uh, would have their uh, would have their engines of uh, advertisements going uh, uh, much higher in higher uh, uh, in higher uh, doses or higher situations in mature markets uh, because we, in mature markets the, what's written here is in store promotion this is interesting because in mature market what happens you have something called media clutter okay, you have so many advertisements coming in through so many different platforms okay that uh, uh, it's very difficult to concentrate and now with situations even getting strong uh, with 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 uh, new media okay new media platforms or your smartphones mobile phones uh, and different channels okay uh, there's so much advertisement coming in that it is very difficult for people to remember it's it's uh, it's, it's uh, filling up our memories so the best place for advertising is at the point of sale at at the point of exchange or the point of sale okay so that's why they've written in store promotion because when the fi the final decision making is is being done okay it is done at the at the site of exchange so at that point uh, if you have some promotion then you might have a promotion going on in uh, in the store you might have uh, an edge as compared to your competitors okay in a declining situation this will remain the same okay because media would start to get weak and uh, the the best chances of generating sales uh, would be at the in store uh, uh, by doing in store promotion because that would be the point of uh, point of exchange and point of decision making okay at the point of sale Right guys, if you have any questions with this, please let me know. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.